Thank you so much for joining me in studying scripture. I'm reading through the New Testament. I'm currently in 1 Corinthians. I read for just a few minutes each day. I hope that you will enjoy this reading. Corinthians, it was a letter to the Corinthians by Paul. But if you'd like to go back and look at some of my other videos, I've got all the Gospels and Acts and Romans in playlists along with a bunch of memory verses that you can watch the videos of and learn scripture to hide God's word in your heart. So today we're going to be reading 1 Corinthians chapter 4. So let's see where we are. 1 Corinthians 4. Stewards of the mysteries of God. Let a man so consider us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required in stewards that one be found faithful. But with me, it is very, a very small thing that I should be judged by you or by a human court. In fact, I do not even judge myself, for I know nothing against myself. Yet I am not justified by this, but he who judges me is the Lord. Therefore, judge nothing before the time until the Lord comes who will both bring to light the hidden things of darkness and reveal the counsels of the hearts, and then each one's praise will come from God. Now, these things, brethren, I have figuratively transferred to myself and Apollos for your sakes, that you may learn in us not to think beyond what is written, that none of you may be puffed up on behalf of one against the other. For who makes you differ from another? And what do you have that you did not receive? Now, if you did indeed receive it, why do you glory as if you had not received it? You are already full. You are already rich. You have reigned as kings without us. And indeed, I could wish you did reign, that we also might reign with you. For I think that God has displayed us, the apostles, last, as men condemned to death. For we have been made a spectacle to the world, both to angels and to men. We are fools for Christ's sake, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are distinguished, but we are dishonored. Even to the present hour, we both hunger and thirst, and we are poorly clothed and beaten and homeless, and we labor working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we endure it. Being defamed, we entreat, we have been made as the filth of the world, the offscouring of our all things until now. I do not write these things to shame you, but as my beloved children, I warn you, for though you might have 10,000 instructors in Christ, yet you do not have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I have begotten you through the gospel. Therefore, I urge you, imitate me. For this reason, I have sent Timothy to you, who is my beloved and faithful son in the Lord, who will remind you of my ways in Christ as I teach everywhere in every church. Now, some are puffed up as though I were not coming to you, but I will come to you shortly, if the Lord wills, and I will know not the word of those who are puffed up, but the power. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but in power. What do you want? Shall I come to you with a rod? or in love, and a spirit of gentleness. I want you to think about that. Think about how Christ is coming to us. Like Paul was a representative. He, he was sharing the gospel. But like, are we coming with a rod? Like, think about a shepherd's rod. We're guiding, pushing, shove. I mean, like, a rod can be used for many things, sometimes for stricter discipline. But 
We want a gentle savior. Sometimes we don't listen. And sometimes we are given a few trials here and there to strengthen our patience. But I want you to think about what Paul and the other apostles were facing. They were sentenced to death. It, it was really tough for them. And the followers that they were sharing the gospel with, they actually called family. And a lot of them did not suffer like Paul did or the disciples that followed Jesus. They all suffered horribly for Christ's sake. There are people who suffer a lot for Christ's sake, martyrs. But not everybody has to be a martyr. Everybody has their own story to tell with Christ, their own testimony. And every story is valuable. It's going to be really amazing when we get to heaven and we can hear everybody's stories and see how God has worked in their lives and our lives and all the people that we have touched. Thank you for joining me. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word.